Hey guys, Leafmaster Superior here, and as you probably read by the title, today I'm just going to be going through my Pokemon teams for every game I've played. I've seen other PokeTubers do this video, and I thought it's something I'd like to do as well. Now for those of you who haven't seen something like this before, basically how it works is I'm going to go through every Pokemon game I've played in order of generation, and just say the 6 Pokemon team I used during my playthrough. I'm not going to include any playthrough I haven't finished, so that being said, let's hop right into it. One thing I quickly want to mention first is that I never played through any Generation 1 game. I know, you can yell at me all you want. I just haven't gotten myself to play through one of the Gen 1 games, but I will play through one of them on the Virtual Console on the 3DS when I take the time to do it. Now let's start off with Gen 2 with Pokemon Silver, which I played on the 3DS when it came out on the Virtual Console in September of last year. I really like this team. I started with a Cyndaquil, so obviously I had a Typhlosion. After that, I caught an Onix, which evolved into a Steelix. Then came my Gengar, Noctowl, and Lapras. Finally, when I caught Lugia, I added him to the team and used him for the rest of the game. My starter was obviously the highest level on the team, but my Lapras was the MVP. It helped me take out Claire with no problem, and was my Surf Slave. So yeah, I really liked that team and have fun playing through with those Pokemon. Now we're going to move on to Gen 3. Now, one thing I want to mention first is the first Pokemon game I actually played was Pokemon Diamond. But I got the chance to play Pokemon Emerald on the Game Boy Advance that a friend gave to me, because he wasn't really using it and had completed the game. So this time around, my team was Sceptile, a Gardevoir that I finally caught after hunting for Ralts for quite some time. Next came my Swellow, then my Camerupt, Ludicolo, and the Pokemon I was looking forward to catch, Rayquaza. It took me a bit of time to catch Rayquaza and was annoying to train, but it was all worth it. I actually used most of these Pokemon whenever I played through home again. So, so I really like all the Pokemon on this team. Next, onto Leaf Green, which I bought after I finished Emerald. I started with the Charizard, who was the MVP of the, the team, then I caught a Nidoran male, who eventually became a Nido King. Then my friend traded me a Bulbasaur, so I had him on my team, and had a really cool Venusaur. Next came Snorlax, who had a lot of versatility with his moves. Then I caught an Eevee and evolved into Jolteon, and to complete my Fire, Water, and Grass Core, Dugong. I felt like this team was extremely versatile, and every team member had its uses, which I always tried to do when creating a team. Now moving on to Gen 4, my first ever Pokemon game, Pokemon Diamond. Now this is the game I didn't actually have a team, I just played through it with my starter Pokemon, which was Infernape. Because of that, Infernape has always been one of my favorite Pokemon to this day. I really enjoyed using it, and me using only Infernape helped him get such a high level to take out all of the Gym Leaders Elite 4 members, like, I beat the whole game with him no problem. That doesn't change the fact that Infernape is a really useful Pokemon to use in Sinnoh. Next was Pokemon Platinum. Now at, the, now at this point, I had seen my friends play through Pokemon games with 6 Pokemon, so I thought that's what I should probably do. So this time I had a full team of 6. I won, wanted to choose a different starter, so I picked Empoleon. Then I caught a Starly and had a very cool Staraptor. After that I caught my Roselia, which evolved into a very useful Rose Raid. After that I got the Gift Eevee from the guy in Heart Home City and evolved it into an Umbreon, my favorite evolution. Then my Raichu and my Mortar. This was quite possibly my favorite team because I felt like I played through my first game with a full team of six. It was a lot of fun. And I also did the versatility thing, like I mentioned before. There's team versatility. This that is a team. If a team has versatility, it's gonna be a team that I really enjoy using. Moving on to Gen 5 with Pokemon White. I don't even think I need to tell you which starter I picked. Obviously it was the mascot of my channel Superior. Then I caught a Lily Pup and had a very awesome Stoutland. After that came my Jellicent, then Dormanitan, Cofagrigus, and Paros of the team Crocodile. I always thought alligators were cool growing up, so I thought Crocodile was awesome and super badass. I know a lot of people that bashed Gen 5 for the new Pokemon and such, but I really enjoyed this playthrough with this team and enjoyed the game too. And then on to Black 2, which I enjoyed even more than the White and had a lot of fun with my team. I started with Superior again, but that's because I had restarted Pokemon White in between these playthroughs, and then I started with Samurott, and didn't want to start with Emboar because I hate Emboar. Next came my Riolu, which evolved into a Lucario. Next my Arcanine, which I used for a bit of the game, but after I caught Volcarona in the Relic Passage, I replaced Arcanine with it just because Arcanine wasn't really doing much, and Volcarona was cool so I used him. Then came the Gift Zorua, which evolved into Zoroark soon after I obtained him. Then I used Lapras again, with the MVP of the team, Haxorus. If I was ever in a sticky situation, I could always come on Haxorus' monstrous attack power to get me out of it. I thought every member of this team was super cool and I thought it was unbeatable with this. 
Now moving on to the generation that introduced multiple new mechanics and 3D graphics, Gen 6. The first game I played was Pokemon Y. My team was probably the least versatile I've ever had, but I still liked it. I started with a Froki and became a very awesome Greninja. Then came my Charizard, who was primarily Mega Charizard Y. Then came my Pangoro, whom I thought was extremely cool when it was first revealed and still do today. Then came another Mega Evolving Pokemon, Lucario, which was the gift from Karina. Then came my Tyrantrum and Gudra. I repeated a lot of types on this team, as you can probably see, but I still think it was a cool team and had a lot of fun kicking a lot of butt with it. Now on to Omega Ruby, which I thought was a much more fun version of the original Gen 3 games. We started with the Sceptile again, as you can see is one of my favorite starter Pokemon, as well as Gardevoir and Chemrupt, which I also use pretty much anytime I play through a Hoenn game. For the latest the last three I switched it up. I used Absol, which is one of the best designed Pokemon today in my opinion. I used a Gyarados for the first time ever, and the Latios that joins you around the mid-game. Now every Pokemon on this team can Mega Evolve, but Camerupt's Mega Stone isn't available until post-game. So he was the one member of my team that couldn't Mega Evolve during the story. But that didn't change the fact that he was a very fun Pokemon to use. Finally, onto the latest addition of the, to the Pokemon franchise, Gen 7. We'll start off with my Sun team. Now, this team I would probably consider my favorite in-game team I've used throughout my Pokemon career. I really grew attached to every member of this team. I started with a Litten and had an Incineroar, my favorite Gen 7 starter. But then I got traded a Rowlet from the same friend that gave me a Bulbasaur and Leaf Green and had a Decidueye, who I also really love. Then came Two Cannon, who I instantly thought was awesome when I first saw it. Then came my Lycanroc Midday Farm, a very awesome Galissapod, and Vikavolt. Like I said, I really grew attached to every member of this team and had a blast playing through Pokemon Sun for the first time. And finally, the latest game released to date, Pokemon Ultra Sun. This time around, I decided to use Gen 7 Pokemon I didn't use in Sun, as well as Pokemon from other generations. I started with Lin again, because like I said before, I had it and Decidueye on my Sun team. And I actually did a playthrough of Moon, where I picked Primarina, so I had been through all the starters. So I decided to go back to Litten, then I caught Zorua and had a Zoroark again, a very fun Pokemon to use. Then came my Lorantis, Palisand, Lycanroc Dustform, Ampharos, and it also had an Aloha Ninetales. So I kind of switched around Pokemon I would have in the PC, which I thought was great because I had a chance to use every Pokemon I wanted. But with that being said, that's going to wrap up this video. If you enjoyed it, be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this coming in the future. I also post Let's Plays and other Pokemon content on this channel, so be sure to check that out. And yeah, that's gonna do it for now. I've been Leaf Master Superior, so until next time, peace out.